Him. Let's welcome Greg Buchanan tonight to the crusade here at the stadium. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. I grew up in Southern California. I'm 33 years old. And as I look back through my life, I realized I was blessed with above average opportunities to succeed in life. My parents were sacrificially giving to both my older sister and myself. And I remember I had a chance to uh, study the performing arts at a very early age. I started piano at three and my older sister uh, started playing harp. And then when I was nine, I started playing the harp. And uh, I remember having a godly grandmother who used to tell me about the love of Jesus and I remember when I was a kid, my grandmother and my family took me to a Billy Graham revival meeting in Los Angeles. I heard the gospel of Jesus Christ. But I wasn't to be born again of the Spirit of God until much later in my life. I remember uh, being frustrated that I was overweight and felt bad about myself. I felt sort of out of it at school. When you're a young, overweight, hyperactive boy and you play the harp, sometimes you'll have social problems at school. <laughs> but. Uh, Something happened when I was 13 that was going to drastically change the course of my life. I was introduced to alcohol for the very first time. And to make a long story short and to spur the gory details, the next 15 years of my life, even though I pursued a successful career of music, even with that, my life was plagued with alcoholism and drug addiction. The story is very grim, and uh, well, I ended up in mental hospitals and jails and got involved in the occult and... My life just kept getting worse and worse and worse. Christians from time to time would witness to me and tell me that Jesus loved me anyway. But by the time I was 27, I was so far gone that I was studying the occult and even into witchcraft and very suicidal, very discouraged about life. But then the grace of God, the providence of God brought me to a meeting down in Hollywood on October 17th, 1981 on a Saturday night at 10 o'clock in the evening after going to a beautiful praise service where they were using music to glorify Jesus Christ. And I heard the gospel again. And that night, by the grace of God, I gave my life to Jesus Christ. I asked Jesus Christ to be my Lord. I asked Jesus Christ to be my Savior. And He saved my soul. Praise God. I immediately had a desire to join a Bible-believing church to read the Bible started to learn to pray. I wish I could say I didn't have any problems. I was having some really tough times, as a matter of fact. I, after I was baptized, I fell back into drinking for a while, but I asked for help and I asked for prayer. And on May 28th, about seven months after I became a Christian, the Lord God Almighty, in direct answer to prayer by the power of His Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus Christ, delivered me from drug addiction and alcoholism. And I stand here today sober, and in my right mind because Jesus still delivers alcoholics and drug addicts. Soon after that, I was called to the harp ministry. Then the Lord brought me a beautiful wife, and now I have a son, 16 months old. I don't understand it all, but I know one thing. The grace of God is very, very powerful, and God is sovereign, and He is good, and He is merciful. And I praise the Lord that I'm here tonight. I'd like to share my favorite Bible verse with you, which is in the book of Ephesians, the second chapter, verses 8 and 9, where the Bible says, For it is by grace that you have been saved, through faith, and this not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, so that no one can boast. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat>